Went Yorker. But friendly for Dow, but naughty. 14 off the fourth, 48 for three. Full toss. Hits straight back down the ground. That's what Pollard can do. He can put away the bad balls. Uh, very few people in the world can hit a low full toss. Straight back over the bowler's head like this. Oh, blimey. He somehow pumped that out of the ground. Very impressive stuff. Shake of the head from the skipper. They might... And this time, a little bit too straight. Back-to-back -back boundaries, exactly what the gladiators needed. Well, it's a steep learning curve. Abel's played out of first-class cricket, played in England. Played, played against Pollard very often. Best one-day players in the game, short format especially. Isn't. Oh, dear. That was big. But he's been able to hit it to the bigger side of the ground and he's got the protection. Just trying to see who's fielding at backward point. That's he, Fidel down there, is it? He had no idea where it was. He just put his hands up going, I can't see it. Where do I go? Should have given that then. He shouldn't have passed backwards. Should have used the triangle. Here we go again. Pollard, he doesn't care about triangles on a football pitch. Just pumping the ball out of the ground. Goes wide of the crease. Doesn't matter. It was going into the arc of Pollard. We have been waiting to see an innings like this. One boundary, three maximums, and he's not done yet. Yeah, very simple. Sea ball, hit ball from Pollard. You see him walking over to the offside. Aiming for that short boundary with the wind. There's no fielder down there. Very sensible batting. As it was there for him. He's now got a chance. And that has gone like an absolute rocket. Stone me. That has gone like a rocket indeed. This is when you're fielding an extra cover. You're just glad you're not in the way of it. He's an absolute brute of a man. Look at the size of him. Like an extra set to the fence. These two have a wonderful little relay. I'm OK just being myself, thanks. Oh, go, you good thing. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your ball, Graham. There he is, Dave the ball, or indelible. Chups, and actually, DJ Bravo has dismissed Pollard the most out of any bowler. So can he do it again? He's got one ball in this over to do so. No. Just a few more boundaries as everyone just moves away. Huge over. 17 off it, 92 for four. It's that last ball, very full from Bravo. And Pollard, he just hits the ball so hard it has to go straight to the fielder or they haven't got a chance. I just like the byplay. Front. Well bowled. Excellent field as well. What do you make of the field for Pollard? The uh, deck and gladiators, but Pollard's on strike. Yeah, and nearly takes out DJ Bravo. Well, a smile on the face of Bravo. This shouldn't be four. The bat rolls in his hand down the ground. It's just not fair cricket sometimes if you're a bowler. Look at that. <laughs> He's done well to get his leg out of the way. It's nearly a broken shin. Six. Square. Well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how many fielders you want. He's going to clear it regularly. Bravo can't believe it. Well, it would have been the gutsiest double bluff ever if he'd gone for the leg stump Yorker then. Everyone on the offside goes wide of the stump. Look at that. The reach is one handed. He's barely got any bat on that. But the man's a behemoth. He's planted a six over the boards. Yeah, you might as well laugh. You can't do anything else. 
Oh, misfield as well then. Will they come back for two? No. Pollard, he wants to strike. 17 runs off that over, 147 off 17. A chance, a chance and taken. Could that be a Dream 11 game changer of the match? Absolutely could be. Andy Flower's got a smile on his face. It's not easy to get one of those. Very well bowled. Yeah, the ball's dancing. Go on, you good thing. It's full. It looked like it was right in the slot for Pollard. Just slid across the face of the ball. Safely taken. I'll be down there.